Okay, I'm going to do what I love to do when I do a BBL, and that is build the hip. I want you to come along and watch this. So I've already injected her right side. I have a really nice result over here. And so we're expecting the same thing here. She really has the same issues on this left side that she does on the right side. I've already injected a little bit here um, to begin filling in the hip dip. Remember, the hip dips start from um, about here. And so I have to fill a little bit here to begin with. And then I'm going to now concentrate on where I want this point of maximal projection, which is, you know, right here. But there's a couple things going on. So I have to fill that hip dip in. She's got a really nice collection of fat that's right here that, that she came with, okay, which is really great because I can build off this. And what I want to do, come, come and look at it over uh, from above. Overall, she has a very generally a nice shape, but here's, here's what I think can be improved. Is when I, when I look down, I want this line that starts here, is, here's her knee. I want this line to come out more than it is. You see how this is kind of, there's a little valley here. That's why I shaded this preoperatively. There's a little valley here. So I don't want any, any little peaks or valleys or little squiggles or anything. I want just a nice, you know, smooth line. That's the convex part of the OG. So it starts way down here by her knee. So I'm going to fill this in. So I'm going to blend that into the rest of her thigh. I'm going to put some fat into the hamstring area, the back of the leg, to kind of blend that. So then this will be nice and smooth. I'm going to carry that into this area here where she's got a nice fatty collection. So I'm going to, but there's a dip here, you know, this, there's, it's not nice and smooth. So I'm going to fill all that. I'm going to just gently touch and put a little bit of fat into this hip because this is a nice fatty area. It's going to take up fat really easily. So I don't want to go crazy putting too much fat in here. And then I'm struggling to put it in these areas that are a little bit tighter. So I'm going to build this up to try to get it to this level of where this fatty pocket is. Put a little bit in here. And then I'm going to start working on this part of the hip here to even it and have it come out a little bit more. Remember, I want this to be the point of maximal projection. She's nice and soft, so that's great. And I know from her other side that that tissue is going to expand. So I'm going to put fat in here because I want this part to be higher than this part. I want this to project more than this. And on the other side, I was able to get a really nice front hip. And so for sure on this side, I'll be able to do the same. And then I'm going to blend that all the way in here and just make sure that that line is good. And then I'm going to blend back into the gluteal area to give her more volume and projection here. So that's the plan. Let's do it. I'm mostly done with the hip, but I just wanted to show you something um, at this point. So I built out this point of maximal projection. It's going to come out a little bit more. I'm going to put a little bit more fat here, but I just kind of wanted to pause. So remember, I started filling the hip dip here and then walked all the way down here. Now this is filled. This is blended into this. Remember, this was that fatty deposit. And so that's starting to shape up really nicely. I'm going to, I still have a little bit more fat here for this front hip to be able to place. And then I just want to show you beforehand. So now this is starting to get nice and full here. We're getting a nice hip, but I haven't filled anything here in the leg. And this is this little tract that I'm going to fill in here, which separates the hamstrings on the back from the quadriceps on the front. And so there's a natural depression here. But we're going to fill that in. So it's going to be nice and round here. And then once I fill this area, that's going to blend into this fatty deposit so that all of this hip will be that nice convex OG.